trust levels have never been as low as they are today. The Edelman Trust Barometer, if anyone's heard of that, came out just about a month and a half ago, talked about how 70%, think about this number, 70% of employees at companies do not trust what their leaders have to say. Seven out of 10. And then you add in another number, Gallup, which does these engagement surveys, I'm sure you've heard of these. They say that close to 90% of employees are, are, are either not fully engaged or actively disengaged at work. That's worldwide. In Canada, it's a little better. We're at 72% disengaged. What does that mean? What is the impact on our work? What is the impact on our ability to deliver a great client experience? There's got to be a better way. There has to be another way that we can engage, that we can build trust. The last, at the core, very few organizations, very few individuals know why they do what they do. And by why, I don't mean to make a profit. That's just a result. That's a consequence of what you do. By why, I mean, what's your cause? What's your purpose? What's your belief? It answers the question, why do you wake up in the morning? And why should anyone care? Why does your organization exist? When a company is clear about their why, some really remarkable things start to happen. Think about Apple. Now, they started off as a computer company, but now what is Apple selling now? What has Apple been selling for the last 10 years beyond just computers? Tell me. Yeah, they're selling phones, right? What else are they selling? What have they been selling for the last 10 years? Tell me. iPods, right? What else have they been selling? Tablets, right. What else, what are they, what are they starting to sell right now? Yeah, they're starting to sell watches. And what industries have they entered in the last 10 years? Yeah, and payments is just now. And music. So when you're clear about your why, it frees you up to enter all these other markets. Now, we, th we take this for granted. We're like, well, yeah, of course, Apple is selling all these products. But l let me just give you the counter example. Dell or Microsoft, they tried to get into the MP3 player market. Does anyone remember the Microsoft Zune? Does anyone have a Zune? Suzanne, you know what I'm talking about? OK, so the Zune, widely regarded as like the best product in its category. The best product had the most space and had all these incredible features. People who had a Zune loved the Zune. What happened with the Zune? Why is it that hardly anyone in this room knows anything about the Zune? Because it was a colossal failure. Nobody bought it. They had to write off billions of dollars. Dell. Dell came out with MP3 players. Nobody bought them. Yeah? Are you saying? Yeah, oh, they, exactly. Your, your reaction is exactly where I'm going. When, I, when you think about it, you're like, why would I buy an MP3 player from a computer company? And yet we did it every single day for 10 years, which just proves people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. Because Apple didn't define itself by what it did. Apple defined itself by why it was in business. It was in business to think different, challenge the status quo, and empower the individual with technology. When you don't define yourself by what you do, you free yourself up to do all sorts of interesting things. Because what your what does is it brings your why to life. Let me just ask you a question. Uh, where's everyone from, by the way? Is a lot of people from Toronto? Anyone from Toronto? Yeah, a few people from Toronto. Where, where's everyone else from? Where are you from? Just, just shout out some names. BC. BC? Give me the city. Penticton. Penticton. Okay, are you friends? What's your name? Sue, right? Penticton. Sue, are you friends with everyone from, Pentic from Penticton? I chose the hardest name to pronounce, of course. <laughs> Penticton. Are you friends with... No. No, but if you find yourself traveling in, you're in Toronto, right. and you kind of overhear someone talking about something from Pecticton, what do you say? Oh my God, are you from Pecticton? I'm also from Pecticton, and like, you're, you're best buddies, right? Yeah. And, if, and if they tell you, hey, there's this great restaurant, it's just like that place back home, what do you say? Oh, I'm going, I'm there, right? Yeah. Right, and then, and then let's say you find yourself, I don't know, let's say you're traveling down south, you're in the Caribbean somewhere. 
and you're traveling around, and you see someone. You Next see, week? Yeah, you're there. It's like, okay, I'm there. And you see, and you, and you uh, run into someone, you, you see a Canadian flag, or you see their little tags or something, and you're like, are you from, are you from Canada? And they're like, yeah, I'm from Quebec. And you're like, oh my, well, maybe not Quebec, but um, <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. He's like, yeah, I'm from Toronto. And you're like, I'm from Penticton. I'm, jo I'm joking, I'm from Montreal, I'm joking. <laughs> He said, I'm, I'm from Toronto, you're from Pecti oh, you're like best friends. There are, there are leaders, and then there are those who lead. And those who lead are able to articulate a vision of the future. They are able to articulate why it is that we exist. And then the how and the what help bring that why to life. Uh, I'll give you another example about you know, Steve Jobs. If anyone knows anything about Steve Jobs, one of his, the first projects that he's well known for is he created this little, does anyone know this? This little blue box. Has anyone heard about this? So the first product that he came up with before he did the Apple One computer with Steve Wozniak, he created a little blue box. And what did this little blue box do? It helped you make long distance calls and avoid getting charged by the long distance company. Isn't that interesting? Because then you go back and think about, well, what was Steve Jobs' why? What was Apple's why? Challenge the status quo. Well, doesn't that, that's he, that, that box that he made was challenging the status quo. Then when they went up against IBM, challenging the status quo. Then when they went up against the music industry, challenging the status quo. When they went up with the iPod and the payments and the watch, they're all about challenging the status quo. What they do brings their why to life. The neuroscience on this is there's actually five threats that exist. The first threat is to status. This is where do I fit in the pecking order? You know, I want to make sure I get that credit. The second one is certainty. This is one that you didn't mention, but just go to the branch level now. If someone's not clear about the vision, or if I'm worried about getting reorged out of a job, or there's some change, I've heard there's change coming around, there's change coming. That makes me nervous because it's a threat to certainty. Human beings, we love certainty. Certainty frees up our brain to do other things. Five us bananas. So what do, the, what do these great leaders do that have clarity of why, discipline of how, and consistency of what? They do something really interesting. What they do is they create circles of safety. They put people first because they understand when you take care of the people, the people will take care of you. Let me give you an example. Fast forward 10 years, right now, they're doing 30% year-over-year growth in an industry where 1% to 2% is considered pff, amazing. So they're doing 15 to 30 times better than their competitors. People are clamoring to work there. And I talked to the president, I said, what has been the difference? Like, he's the president, he's worked in oil and gas for 40 years. I said, what's the difference? He says, you know what? It's our managers. Our managers are caring about our people. And when our managers care about our people, our people care about our customers. And the results speak for themselves. What we need to do every single day is look to the left, look to the right, and take care of the people around us. When we do that, we can achieve incredibly remarkable things. Thank you very much.